Hello, beauties. I am coming live at you. Um, I'm going to be doing a really, really cool topic today, and it's just getting to know how you manifest best, which I'm so excited to share with all of you because I know in 2018 when I discovered this little tidbit, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and the more I manifest, the more I learn about my manifesting, the more I learn about my human design, how I am uniquely designed the easier it is for me to understand how to manifest better. And this is what I want for every single one of you. Because we are also beautiful and also freaking unique. And if we can get our message across to the universe on what it is that we want, it is so much easier for the universe to deliver it to us on a silver platter, okay? Um, and I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever tried to manifest and sometimes it's like it's not even left your head and it's arrived and you're just like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is alignment. So I always talk about alignment, alignment, alignment. Um, and yeah, so if you are joining me, please say hello, 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 hello. What I am going to do quickly, I'm just, I just pulled a card for the collective and this is such an important card. And just as I said, just as I was saying, isn't it so beautifully aligned? How each one of us are so beautifully, uniquely made. And we should never, ever look sideways, sideways. We should only ever look inwards and be like, am I a better person today than I was yesterday? Um, and sometimes, no. <laughs> and be like, okay, that's okay. The next day I'll be better. Um, so please give me some love hearts and say hello and say where you're watching from. Um, so the card that I picked for the collective today is, Dear Universe, I release the need to compare myself to others. There is only one me. There is only one me. And the more we get to understand this, the more we, hello, thank you, Gwen. <laughs> this is my all natural. Um, the more we can understand this, the more beautiful life gets. And the more we understand ourselves, the easier life gets. And the more we understand different things and how we manifest differently and all of these beautiful things, um, the more we can just appreciate ourselves for who we are. And so, as you guys know, I have gone deep, 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 deep down into uh, the human design. I suppose it's been two years now. I just absolutely love it. And um, the more I learn, the more I'm just like, that is so crazy. And for those of you that know me for longer, know that in 2018, I had this massive shift in my life. I really started tapping into my spiritual side and life just became so much more magical. And I started following the urges. I started following the breadcrumbs. I started following my being soul led and not ego led. And all of these beautiful things have unfolded. And then discovering my human design chart, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Like I'm living that life. And um, I'm a manifester in human design. I'm a three, six, I'm here for the experience. Um, and funny enough, when I did my awakening with 5DE, with fifth dimension earth, my um, broadest truth um, is my experience is everything. So it's just so freaking aligned. I absolutely love it. And it's really beautiful. Um, and I'm also an emotional authority. So what I do want to ask you guys, if you would um, be able to if you're watching on replay or you're watching live, if you're watching live, please say hello. Don't leave me hanging alone. Um, go on to Jovian and um, you can get your human design chart over there. What I am going to do today, I am going to share a little bit um, uh, how you can see this in, in, in your chart, okay? Um, what kind of manifesto you are, because each one of us are, are different. But then obviously it goes a lot deeper than just this, but I'm going to explain it because as you guys know, I love to tell a story um, because I think that when we tell stories, it's so much easier for people to relate to and understand. So I'll take you on my journey on uh, process and outcome or specific and non-specific. Um, Damn, I just want to see if I can share my screen. Um, bum, 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 share screen because I just want to show you when you. Um, age. Okay. I'm going to show you this one quickly. 
Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, and what I've done is I have highlighted the chart so that when you look at your charts, and as I said, you can watch this on replay, it's no problem, you know, you don't have to pull out your chart right now. But when you look at your chart, you will see there's these four arrows. And I very untidily did um, highlight, oh, I think you guys can see here. So I highlighted this arrow, okay, on this one. So but this is my husband's, my beautiful, amazing, unbelievably amazing projector husband. Um, and he is, as you can see over here, he's a projector, emotional uh, authority, just like his wife, as is my daughter, as is my son, as like the whole family. How crazy is that? Um, and But you'll see there that I've highlighted that arrow. And if that arrow is pointing to the left, like Jamie's one, then it is a um, then he, then you are a non-specific, okay? So passive, as they call it, um, another way of calling it, um, manifest it. Sorry, sorry. And and if it's facing left, like Jamie, so if it's right, if it's facing opposite to what Jamie is, you are a non-specific. And if it is facing left, like Jamie's then you are a specific manifester. So I'm going to stop sharing this one and I'm going to show you my daughter. Um, let me just quickly share. Uh, share screen and then I'm just going to share my beautiful daughter who is a manifester. But even though she's a manifester, she is, she manifests in a different way. So as you can see over here, Ella is pointing right, so she is a non-specific, which is the passive. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more in detail because, um, yeah, so you guys can see that perfect. Um, so hopefully you can see that kind of clearly. If anybody is uncertain, please do let me know. But if it is facing left, then you are uh, specific. And if you are facing right, you are non-specific. So what does that actually mean? What does that actually mean? So if you, and when I did the Manifesting Mastery um, last week, I didn't actually share this with everybody. I first asked them to have a feel into what they felt they were, which is outcome or process. So outcome is you've got to have that outcome that you're going for, that exact thing, like so specifically what it is that you want. And if you're process, that is going to make you feel icky. So I want you all to also do the same, like have a feel into it, have a feel like, am I process, am I outcome? What is better for me? Do I have to have like the plan, um, knowing that this is exactly what I'm going for and like literally to the freaking team so you're the type of people if you say you want a husband in your life you want him to have blue eyes you want him to be dark tall and handsome like my beautiful husband um and then when you are uh process that's not you don't worry about the finer details it's almost like you co-create with the with the universe you like universe this is what i want um i'm going to be broad with it you fill in the blanks like you can fill in the blanks um and then you get into that feeling so how's it going to feel when that man looks after you so beautifully and you just feel like safe and secure and delicious and amazing and joyful and in love and all of that and then you say this is how i want to feel can you please make it happen universe now, if you are outcome, you are like, this is what I need. You have to get so freaking specific. Like you have to be active in the manifesting. Um, and right down to the last kind of like detail, like the last freaking detail. And that will then manifest for you easily. That will feel comfortable for you. Okay. So I want you all to have a feel before you go look at this on your chart and ask yourself, like what normally feels best for me? But obviously it goes a little bit deeper as well. Um, because for example, okay, I'm going to stop sharing screen. Um, how do I, there we go. Okay. So I'm back. Um, so actually in the comments, if you're watching live or on replay, what do you think you are? Do you think you are outcome or do you think you are process? Do you, meaning, do you feel like you're specific or non-specific? Like, do you have to get to the nitty gritty details or do you prefer to just be broader 
and just let the universe fill in the blanks for you. And then you are super excited and you can just chill and be like, okay, this is what I want. Can you make it happen in a way that's best suited for me? So um, it goes a little bit deeper than that. So I, you know, generally they make us non-specific. Yeah, Gwen. Yeah. Um, when I first found out about outcome and process, I was like, oh my gosh, this whole time I have been going for outcome and I just feel I resonated more with process. But then the more I got to learn about my, my manifesting and really just watched it like clearly, I realized that I am very specific. And if I say out loud to the universe, you know, because obviously I've got a defined throat center, like motor center to the throat. Like if I just say it out loud, things will happen, things will manifest. And whenever people do readings or anything like that with me, I remember the very first time someone did a reading for my mom and she said, your daughter will have everything that she ever wants, whatever she asks for, she gets. And I was like, that is so, like, I actually felt like that was really rude and cheeky. I was like, that is not true. But the more I get to understand, it's like actually everything I've ever asked for, I do get, I do. And it's such a beautiful blessing, but I've got to do it in a way that I don't put too much pressure on myself. And I am specific, like since before I even knew about manifesting, I'm talking years and years and years and years. I have written things at the back of my diary that I wanted to manifest through for the year. Then I don't get all stuck on it and be like, oh my gosh, and look at it every single day. And like those ones, I would just write. And those are normally like my main ones. So last year, for example, I wanted to um, do my NLP. I wanted to awaken and I wanted to travel. So all three of those things obviously came true for me when I went back to the back of my diary at the end of the year. I was like, yay, um, totally manifested. And so every year there's a few key points that I like this year for me, it's very much house. And I do still want to travel this year because I like to do that every single year. And I'm going to let the universe delight me in whichever way that it's meant to happen. Because actually, to be fair, Take me anywhere and I'm happy. Like I, um, I should be in Amman right now actually doing um, cricket. But obviously there's um, there's a lot of amazing things happening in the background, which I can't yet share. It's killing me. I cannot wait to share with all of you. Um, but it's really busy. And so I can't really, like I couldn't go now. And also with COVID in South Africa, blah, 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 blah. So it wasn't meant to be. Um, and so, but I know, you know, that when, when the right offer is going to come, because I put it out to the universe, it's, it's going to come and it's going to be perfect for me. Another thing, if you are specific, again, like look at who you are. So I am a manifester. So I, you know, in my network marketing, when they would say to me, you have to hit a target of 5,000 volume points every single month, that was not me setting out a target. So I wouldn't really hit it because it didn't excite me and it was somebody else telling me what to do. But as a manifester, I need to initiate, I need to, um, I need to make my own decision. So it's very difficult for me to be, to be told what to do. Um, and so I don't wait for the, I can't wait for an invitation. I don't want to respond like I need to initiate. And so if I've come up with that idea, <laughs> that I want to hit 5,000 volume points and I've got a reason behind it, then absolutely I could do it. Um, but I always joke and say, you know, if they put out to me that I needed to do this so that I could go to Barcelona or to the extravaganza, you know, internationally, oh my gosh, like that would be no problem because that excited me and that got my emotions going. And, you know, so then it was easy for me to do. So if you feel like, oh, you know what, I've never hit targets, blah, 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 just check in with yourself because maybe it wasn't your targets. For instance, if you are a manifester and you need to decide your own thing, it's very difficult to take, you know, um, for other people to tell you what to do. <laughs> it's very difficult. And so you're going to be rebellious. So then look at that. So say to yourself, am I specific? So, um, yeah, so so if if it's, it's – there's – so much more than just that okay and you can blend the two you can absolutely so for me like 
I know exactly what I want this year. I've written my letter to the angels. I've written my letter to the universe. I've tapped into it and I'm feeling excited about it every single day. Like I know exactly what I want and I'm so freaking excited. So I feel my excitement in my solar plexus and my hope vortex. Um, and that's just where like I get super duper duper excited. And if that's happening, like I know I'm on the right track. Um, to know where where your like I want to say your authority because that actually is what it is so if you are um sacral like you've got to feel that like if you get the invite like is this something that you want to do and you like yes and you just feel it freaking in your sacral like you just get that ping of yes then it is right for you okay so if someone does maybe set a target so for instance at the moment I'm in something in a group and we have decided collectively what it is that we want. So I am ramping up the energy. Together, we're going to ramp up that energy. And it's really, really exciting. So we can manifest together. Some of us are specific. Some of us are non-specific. Some of us have the manifesting within us. And some of us not. We all have our throat defines and stuff like that. So, you know, um, it is quite exciting to just go with it. But once you understand that, I promise you things get so much easier because let's be honest, everybody says you got to be specific and not all of us are specific. So when you get told like set this target and also specific by somebody else's, no, like don't tell me specifically what I need. Like I know what I need. And when I know I can tell the universe, this is what I want and the universe will give it to me. In divine timing sometimes sometimes we do need to wait a little bit longer than we expect but that's okay because it's all part of the journey um and then once you know that it's so much easier because honestly like if you listen to any personal development it's like set those goals reverse engineer it da, 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 da. but if you're non-specific that might not feel very nice to your soul and you might feel remember everything is alignment everything is alignment so if you are feeling out of alignment it's not going to come because it's all freaking energy at the end of the day it is all energy if your energy is way behind it then it is going to come you know those instant manifestations where you like literally just think about something and like Within an hour or two, it pops up and you're like, what the freaking heck? It means you are in alignment. There's no resistance. You've asked in a way that feels good to you. And that is how it manifests. So it's really, really important to understand that it always goes back to that. But don't go and, and um, try and do things by other people's rules because we are all so beautiful, all so unique, and all so amazing. And that's why when I pulled that card today, I mean, how freaking amazing that that same card, that card, I released the need to compare myself to others. There's only one me. There is only one you. There's only one me. There's only one Gwen. I can't see all the names. Sorry, guys. I just see Facebook users, but there's only one, one, one of us. And we all can manifest whatever it is that we want. We need to be clear on what it is that we want. Does it, does it, you know, um, is it in alignment with our values? Is it really truly what we want? Because generally, if things are not manifesting, it's actually not what we really deeply desire. So again, get to know yourself. Get to know what it is that you truly, 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 truly want. If that means going off social media for a little while so that you can literally listen within and not without, you guys will see I've, I've posted a lot about stillness and going within because you have so much wisdom within. And if you can tap into your beautiful self, you will be guided to exactly where you need to be. You will be guided exactly who you need to speak to. You will be guided exactly who to call Um uh, you will be guided to be in the right place for the right invitation for projectors that need to be invited in. So really just be still and just listen and play around with this. Life is a game, guys, and manifesting is a game. Play the game and see what works for you. How many times did I have to play Mario Brothers to find that freaking mushroom? <laughs> 
for those of you from the 80s that used to play Mario and you would have to find that exact brick where that mushroom was and you had to find a few times but then once you got that mushroom you got bigger and it was amazing and and this is the thing like this is exactly what it is like it's an experience and experience all these different things and try 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 specific try non-specific look at your chart um, your human design chart, if it says non-specific, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, no wonder, no wonder every single personal development book that I've read that tells me that I've got to hit da 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 You know, it's not sustainable for everybody. Um, but if you can go into the non-specific and really get excited about it and get your energy flowing towards it, like you will manifest so much faster. So you guys know, for those of you that don't know me, like I always speak about the Dream Day Journal, which I learned from the beautiful, amazing Sarah Morgan. Um, and this you can use specifically and non-specifically. You can be so specific if it feels good to your soul. You can be very non-specific. Some days you can be specific and other days non-specific in your Dream Day Journal, you know. Um, but play around with it and make sure that when you are busy within your manifesting practice, whatever that is for you, whatever that looks like for you, make sure that it feels good to you. Because if it feels like a chore, if it feels like it's freaking you out because you're setting this big goal and it's like, yes, our goals must scare us, but excite us at the same time. If you are feeling so scared and so out of alignment, like and instantly, so this is a beautiful way to tell if your outcome or process. If you set a goal specifically um, and it makes you feel really uncomfortable, then don't do that. See, we can get specific about some things and maybe not specific about other things. So maybe if it's like a money goal, some people find that so sexy to have like a specific money goal. I will, I have fun with it and I, I will, um, you know, sometimes write out checks and do it like that. I've got to do it in a fun way. If I have it written like, at the end of this month, I must do this, da, 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 then I feel like it's a bit uncomfortable. Like I just don't dig it. And so that's, I'm like, universe, you know what I want. And then the universe delights me in so many different ways. And that's the beautiful thing about having different incomes. It's really helpful, especially when you feel like you need to take some time off, um, which I did really need to do at the end of last year. Um, and so I highly recommend getting passive income and a few incomes, but you know, that's, a, that's a story for another day. Um, but you know, so for me, I'm just like, okay, just, uh, um, so I, even though I'm specific, I let go to the universe a lot because whenever I do, and I can just be in peace as a manifesto, that's what I need to do. And I'm in my stillness. Honestly, if I've asked, it can freaking come like rapid speed for example this collaboration that I wanted to do I got the download and I was like I just want to wait a little bit and I went camping out in nature and everything was downloaded to me and I was like it's a heck yes I sent out the email I posted on Facebook and within a few days the collaboration had happened within a week like we had done everything pretty much like we're just doing the fi final touches um and that's a thing like I you know like it's just amazing for me I know so get to know yourself like for me stillness is a big thing it's really really important for me also moving my body is a very important thing so for me you know obviously since October I've got a rest I can't really do anything besides walk and swim but I've still been making an effort to go to the gym and even if I'm just walking on the treadmill it's a little bit Boring, but you know, audiobooks are amazing and podcasts are amazing, so it helps me get. But the fact that I, I it's important for me um, to to be in my body as well as be, you know, in my air, in my in my fairy land, you know, manifesting that way. So really, just ask yourself, like, what feels good to you? And I promise you, if you can get to know you better, you will be able to manifest on steroids like honestly like it was you know when I when I traveled last year which was obviously high on my list as well um with the awakening I said in the beginning of last year I really want to do the awakening with fifth dimension earth but I was like oh it's going to be a long process and 
I was like, okay, just let me know when I'm ready and I'm going to do it. And then, you know, I waited a little bit and then just around my birthday, my 40th, it was like, oh, you can now do it in four weeks, which I actually did in shorter within the, but obviously I had started um, the process anyway. So, but it was like, oh, you can do it in four weeks. And I was like, ping, okay, that was me. That like, I totally manifested that. <laughs> and so sometimes we also say that we want to do things, but we got to sometimes wait because had I done it earlier, I mean, it's all in divine timing. It would have been right for me if I had, but it didn't feel right for me. And then, because I do like to take shortcuts, guys, and that's also in the manifesto. Like, I can do things really, really at super speed, speedy fast, and then I need to chill hard. <laughs> um, and so it's really beautiful to just understand and, yeah, just get to know yourself, get to know what feels good to your soul. And you can literally sit somewhere and manifest. You can think something and someone will call you. You can think something and you're go onto you know onto social media and there the thing that you were asking for is there and sometimes I'm like obviously Facebook is watching us you know <laughs> um but they can't always listen to our thoughts so but yeah so it's really really amazing and just go and have fun with that so if you missed the beginning to find out if you are specific and non-specific how to find it in your human design chart just go back have a little look and then, um, and then just see, you know, look at your arrow. Um, if it's facing right, the second arrow. But anyways, rather go look at the, because I've literally done a screenshot for you guys. Left is for specific, right is non-specific, but then go a little bit deeper into your chart. Like, uh, can I, can I respond to somebody else's specific or can, do I need to initiate the specific so that, you know, like just look at your chart and also play around with that. Cause obviously it does go a little bit deeper with that. And then my loves, you've got to be in alignment. You've got to feel good. I will never ask for something when I am in a low, like I just don't, I don't ask. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be here in my little corner. I'm not going to ask for too much because if I ask now, things are probably going to go <laughs> like shit's going to hit the fan. <laughs> so I'm not going to ask right now. So just remember that as well. Um, it doesn't mean that everything that I've asked for is now being pushed away. I just want you to be very, very clear on that. Whatever you have been asking um, in, you know, when you're feeling that calm and peaceful, it's already on its way. So don't think like, oh, if I'm, if you over manifest and you're like, where is my stuff? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And you're asking in that energy. But if you just let it go, you're like, okay, not, now's not the time to manifest or create or go wild. Now's just the time to be still and wait until I feel that next vibe of, okay, I'm ready to manifest. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helped a little bit to give you guys some clarity on if you are specific or non-specific or otherwise known as process and outcome because once you know that I promise you for me it was just the most beautiful 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 thing to understand and obviously the more I learn about human design the more sense it makes to me and the more I get excited so I can definitely be specific but I also need to just give room for the universe to delight me and have fun with that and I really have to tap into those feels because obviously I'm very emotional sending you all so much love on what day are we on what day are we today Wednesday no Tuesday on Thursday we have the gorgeous Lady Jacqueline to come speak human design with all of you. She is a beautiful projector, the wise one. And honestly, she just um, explains human design in the most beautiful, beautiful way. And the way she picks things up on the chart, like people will share their charts and it's just amazing. So um, that is at 10.30 um, South African time, 8.30 UK time. And I didn't, I didn't look at all the other times. Um, bring your charts with and um, I will probably be pulling up some charts and, and doing some live stuff as well, which is quite exciting. We never plan it. Um, Jacqueline's always like she is, she likes to plan. Um, so she has some planning in it, but then we just flow with it on the day. But I'm sure there will be some readings and I'm sure whatever comes through is going to be beautiful i'm sending you all so much love have a gorgeous gorgeous week everybody and then i am going camping on thursday after the call with jacqueline um but i'll see you all the following week bye everybody